old West Saloon owner. Make it so the floorboard don't creak when regular patrons walk in, but do creak when a mysterious stranger walks in. What? What if you intentionally put in one squeaky floorboard and tell your regulars that if they squeak it, their first drink costs 10% extra? Then only new people who don't know the rule will step on it and familiars will avoid it. Did, did you just write an algorithm for human behavior? Because that is exactly what I would expect from a robot appreciation tumbler. Very important reminder, don't forget! The contents of this reminder have been erased. That's just ADHD in a nutshell. I forgot I made this post, so I'm pretty sure this was the mood. Why do I toilet paper the wrong way? Behold. Well, that's valid. Okay, I'll accept that. But you're on thin ice. What I love about Spy Kids is they're not spying on anyone, and absolutely no one cares. Spy is basically a D&D class in the Spy Kids cinematic universe. There's zero espionage. The word spy just refers to a collection of proficiency modifiers. Uh, is that right? Concept. All normal checkouts are replaced with self-checkouts. But instead of losing their jobs, the cashiers now get to sit on top of lifeguard chairs and periodically throw wine glasses at me like Dracula while I buy my goods. What is a customer? A miserable little pile of coupons. But enough talk, Karen. Have at you! Benson, coach. How are your legs feeling after that workout? <sighs> Sore. Good. Make your thighs big as Mother Russia. You know what they say about women with big thighs, yes? Can crush head between legs like watermelon? You and I, we have very different fantasies. Speaking of which, bam! Wait, she's looking thick? Always has been. Ah, oh, wishing I was on a balcony in Italy, wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Wish I was the Hulk. I wish I was the Hulk on balcony in Italy, wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Why do people always get so weird about wheelchair users? I'm literally just a person sitting down. You're sitting down and moving at the same time, like some kind of witch! Plankton built his computer wife, so he's also the one who programmed her personality. Plankton made a wife who would belittle and mock him. Plankton has a humiliation fetish. Sometimes we have thoughts, but we don't have to share them with everyone and put them out into the world. Just a suggestion. But they write. If you're reading this, it's too late. I already sent the good vibes your way. They're coming. There's nothing you can do to stop them. This is the most threatening way I've ever been cheered up. A possum broke into an Australian bakery and ate so many pastries it couldn't move. This is how they found him. I live for this post. <sighs> Do what you must. Cry, I've already won. Today I learned there are three types of fun. Type 1 fun is enjoyable while it's happening. Type 2 fun is miserable while it's happening, but fun in retrospect. Type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even in retrospect. How the fuck is activity that's no fun during or after considered a type of fun? Okay, you know how a lot of people play a game called League of Legends? Mort Evil Incarnate, Madagascar, Mort's Incredibly Disturbing Secrets Exposed, Part 1 Theory. There are three other parts of this, and it adds up to almost two hours of dissecting whatever these cartoon rat sins are. Never mind, this rat is genuinely fucked up. <laughs> God, I can't stop there's a horde of trevenant, a beard, and this pseudo just blended itself in and with it. It's literally hiding with other trees. Hello, fellow plantites. Yes, my goodness, what a nice day to photosynthesize How about them chloroplasts? I do love me some chlorophyll. Mm, what a great time to have cell wall, yes. Because of reasons is always a legitimate reason. Because fuck you, that's why, is also acceptable. For science is a good excuse. Don't forget, the stars are not in position as a perfect reason to not do something. Not since the accident can be the answer to any question. And you guys are leaving out think of the children as a way to persuade anybody to do something for you. Peter Dinklage and Jason Momoa to star in a vampire con movie, The Good, Bad, and Undead. Dinklage will play a famed vampire hunter, Van Helsing, while Momoa plays a vampire who's promised never to kill again. And the two run a scam where Van Helsing makes money by pretending to defeat Momo's character. Is... is this just not the plot of Shark Tale? It is! And I'm living for it! All of my characters are idiots. I cannot change this. They say write what you know, and I know nothing. Redemption arc this and redemption arc that. Where's an arc 
where the hero gets morally corrupted by a villain and switches sides and becomes an even bigger threat as a result. Where is my bastardization arc? Oh my god. Negative character development, Whoa! Oh, well that was a fun day of doing videos, I guess now I can- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How did you get in here?